This video is going to be about administering a quiz from Socrative, a quiz that we already made, administering it to students, and also about accessing the report that you can get after the quiz. And the report that you can get after the quiz is, is, is part of the project. It's one of the options that you can um, that you can do to complete the project for this section of the course is to is to send me a spreadsheet of a quiz that you gave to you know some random student or a made-up student or even another adult so I've already created my quiz in manage quizzes now I wanna start the quiz okay now I already have a student logged in to my room number I'm on my dashboard the students logged into my room number waiting for me to start the activity Okay. So what I have to do is click Start a Quiz, and if I don't see it in Recent here, I'm going to go to All, and I'm going to give I'm going to administer the Nashville Quiz, and scroll down to Start. This is where you have some options whether to do a student-paced quiz where the students can answer questions at their own pace, and the teacher-paced quiz where you control the flow of questions, sending questions one at a time, and maybe you want to might, you know, project your screen on, uh, on the, uh, in your classroom to show the kids exactly how they're answering the questions. Uh, that's up to you. I'm going to go with a student-paced quiz and just let them complete it at their own pace and maybe show them the results at the end on a projection screen. Either one has the options, such as randomizing answers, and once you click there, you'll be able to see what the options are uh, in terms of how to give you know whether you want to randomize questions, randomize randomize answers, different things like that. So I'm going to start the quiz. And when I start the quiz, right, this is something I would be projecting onto my screen is the live real-time results that will come in once the students start answering questions. So I'm going to look at this now from the student end since I've be begun the quiz. From the student end, they're going to get a prompt to enter their name. As soon as they enter their name, they begin getting the questions. And you can see how nice the image looks with what famous show was filmed at the Ryman Auditorium. Okay, and you can see they can see their progress of how many questions there are, multiple choice, short answer, true, false. From the teacher end, we now see that Rick Roth is in there taking the quiz and usually this number should say how many people are in your Socrative room at a time and it's not showing the one right now but that is what it should be showing there so let's see here Ryman Auditorium was not the Grand Ole Opry as it is today but the Ryman Auditorium was the location of the Grand Ole Opry now once that student clicks that answer they're gonna click next now it goes to the next answer and this is short answer so if the student types it exactly the way we put it in as short answer they're gonna get credit and it's gonna grade it automatically if they don't it it won't give them a hundred percent score on that question next Johnny Cash is still alive and let's say the kid gets this one wrong and says true now let's say <clears throat> I haven't submitted that yet and I'm from the teacher end want to check on the progress of the student and you could see that Rick Roth is 67 percent of the way through the quiz and you'd have a list of students here with a class full of kids and you could see how he's answered and it gave him the hundred percent for Johnny Cash because for the short answer he typed it exactly uh, the way it was written when I created the question let's go back to the student and finish the quiz Johnny Cash is not still alive but we're gonna say true and now we know we're at the last question because it just says previous the student now is gonna finish the quiz and it'll ask are you sure you want to finish the quiz you won't be able to answer any more questions okay and now you're waiting again as the student because you've completed the current activity and if you're doing a teacher pace quiz it will hold the kid uh, waiting for teacher you know for the next question because you're in control of administering the questions in the order and pace that you want to as the teacher let's go back now we see that Rick Roth is hundred percent done with the quiz and got two out of three correct Okay. now if I want to finish this quiz we can see still see here that the quiz is in progress so if I choose to finish it now 
This is where you get your grade reports. Uh, you can choose no report, download the report, or email the report. If you choose email the report, it automatically sends a report to your email address that you signed up with with your Socrative account. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to go to my email. Okay, and it'll come through like this, Socrative Reports, and it already sent it to me. It's, it's like immediate, okay, of that quiz that I just took. So I can open that email, and it is an Excel spreadsheet. You could open it as a Google spreadsheet if you use Google Docs. Uh, you could just click to view it, or you can download that spreadsheet yourself. I can click View, and it's showing me, it'll show the class scoring, Okay, what percent Rick Roth got on it. Uh, you know, it even gives you a little bit of item analysis of what the percent of kids that got that question right. In this case, 0% got that one right and 100% got these two right. But you'll see how it works and it gives you a nice little report, um, you know, what room it was, what email it was sent to, and the time of day. Really neat, convenient thing to have. When I wanted to, if I want to start another quiz, I'll just go into there, and the students are still waiting on me. They're still logged into my room.